A big patch and wipe in Escape from Tarkov always means we have a lot of different stuff to explore and a lot of stuff changed in Escape from Tarkov. That's why we want to give you 17 very important and crucial tips and changes that you have a very good experience early on in Escape from Tarkov with patch 12.11. Let's go boys! Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and I hope you all are excited for the new wipe and patch 12.11. That's why I want to start immediately with 17 tips to help you guys out there. And the first one is a big change. You have to be level 20 to unlock the flea market and that's a big change for everybody. That means the first quests are a little bit harder because you have to find everything and on top of that your inventory and your stash is a mess or will be a mess because you can't sell anything till you are level 20 to other players for me that's pretty bad because my inventory is a a really really big mess because i'm saving everything because i know some parts which will have a certain value gunsmith parts quests quest items and all of that so it's hard but i'm level 15 right now and let's continue with my next tip and my or the next change to tarkov malfunctions and this one is pretty important because if you have a low durability on your weapon you can have malfunctions i would say if your weapon is under level 80 to 70 let's say 69 and less uh, a malfunction can probably happen and that's new and that's also very interesting if you are in a gunfight in the middle of a gunfight and a malfunction happened you have to fix it with shift t for example or with a quick reload you can fix your malfunctions speaking of malfunctions and weapon durability if you loot weapons from scavs they will have most likely a pretty bad durability from 40 to 60 and a malfunction is very likely to happen. Speaking of scavs, we have scav karma in Escape from Tarkov and scav karma is still a little bit of a mystery. But if you play as a scav and if you kill other scavs, real scavs, you will lose some reputation to fans. And that's pretty important because you want to have a reputation of six from fans that you unlock the next level from fans and you can buy the non-insured stuff from player from players who died in a raid and you can buy that stuff this is pretty awesome and the way to get six reputation is quite hard because if you kill a bad scav player that means a scav player who killed other scavs you will gain plus 0.1 reputation as i said and you need six in total on top of that you will also get 0.1 reputation to fans if you kill a PMC as a scav, but sometimes it can happen that you get some more reputation. And th there is a little bit of a mystery behind it. We try to make a specific video about scav karma, but as I said, you will lose scav karma if you kill other scavs or normal scav players which aren't in a bad reputation or in a bad habit you will lose some reputation as i said but on top of that and they changed it which is pretty awesome you don't lose any reputation if a scav player hit you before you shoot him that means a scav player started the fight and they have to hit you you can fire back and you don't lose any reputation on top of that also pretty good tip you can kill bosses scav bosses because scav bosses don't count as scavs they count as bosses only guards count as scavs. The next one has a pretty big impact to the early status of the wipe. You are overweight or you will have the overweight status if you have around 31 to 33 kilogram total weight and of course this will increase if your strength level is better but right now it starts really early on. Sometimes if you have a weapon on a second weapon on your back you can be overweight so really keep in mind what kind of loot do you pick, what gear do you pick to not get overweight or to not get overweight as, as quickly as you get it right now, but you can't avoid it, it's pretty hard. Speaking of kilograms, you can save 2 kilogram, 1.8 kilogram if you leave your headset in your hideout. Don't bring a melee weapon into the raid, in my opinion it's not worth 
I want to get more loot. As quicker as you are overweight, it's pretty bad if you get overweight around 40 to 50 kilograms early on in the wipe because you are slow as hell. So save these two kilograms and don't bring a hatchet into the raid or a melee weapon. If you have to use your hatchet weapon after your, your guns, you're probably dead. So save two kilograms. The hideout is a little bit more trickier because you need more items to craft or to build your stuff in your hideout. For example, the med station or the cooking station and all of that. It's a little bit more tricky, but it's useful, especially early on, because you can craft the Salewa in your medical supply station. You can craft some Tushonka in your nutrition unit and you can craft AK-74s if you are level one in theory without having prepper level two. And that's great because, and that's a tip or one of my tips later on, use the AK-74. I made a video about it yesterday and that's my another tip. Start modeling your weapons from level one in theory. Of course, you can jump into the raid with the MP5 or PP-19, but you can, you can mod the PP-19 quite well, the same as the AK-74 or the SKS. As I said, I made a video about it yesterday, specifically about the AK-74, which is in my opinion, the best weapon to modify and to use early on. And I will make a video about level one to level 15 best builds and weapons. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and we will continue with our next tip. Don't sell your start or don't use your starting goods. And I mean the water, the big Tushonka and the Iskra launch box because you need them for a quest or for several quests. For example, you need water for or two pieces of water bottles for uh, Jäger, you need the big Tushonka because in your nutrition unit you can use the big Tushonka for the craft to get some other stuff and your medical like bandages and all that you can use that to craft some Salewa. So don't waste your starting goods, use them. Don't sell it, use them. For example, if you have low energy, you can use your sugar because you can use your sugar till you have one uses left and your sugar is still found in rate keep your sugar, which is an additional tip, let's say bonus tip, use your sugar till it has one uh, uses left and sell it if it has a certain value. Let's continue with a little bit more gear and attachments. Don't sell the very good attachments and gear right now because it's stupid to waste good stuff. Right now it's the best time to use very good gear, for example, suppressor, helmets, armor, don't sell it. You don't. I know you need the money. I know you need the money for a lot of stuff, hideout and all of that. But the reason why you have money in a game is to use it. Don't hoard your money. Use it. Right now it's the best time to use a proper helm like the Alton, ZSH, even the Kiver right now is pretty powerful. A level 4 armor is very, very good. Even level 3 is very, very good. So don't waste, don't sell it, use it right now. It's the best time to use this or these items to get a better start right now. Believe me guys, use your stuff, don't be aware of it. I made a video about um, gear fear and all of that, so check that out, but use your stuff right now. It's a really good time to get ahead of the rest of the player base. But there is a sweet spot and if you are over the spot, it's pretty bad because don't bring your whole stash into the raid, especially early on. A lot of new players are into Tarkov. We had a sale to the game and don't bring your whole stash into the raid because I face a lot of players. They use the MP5 and the M9 from their starting USEC gear and they br brought in five MP5 Max and four M9 Max and the M9 and the MP5. It's too much, you don't need it. Bring the MP5, maybe two additional Max put some max and some ammo in your secure container and you're good to go, basically good to go. Same as with the mats, don't bring five Salewas and every cheese you have, just use maybe one or two um, HP healing stuff, maybe some splints, one or two, it really depends what you have and some painkillers and that's it. Really be patient how much you are bringing into your raid because if you bring too much, you will lose everything, of course. We have more scopes and a lot of scopes changed. From prepper level two, we can get the new Welday Reflex side, which is pretty, pretty good. And on top of that, a lot of scopes changed. For example, the, scope, the, the Cobra side from prepper level one has some different sides, how they look in Escape from Tarkov. And the EOTech side and the Radical 
is pretty clear and pretty decent right now. So be aware if you use some scopes from the past right now, they can change. But we will make a video about scopes specifically that you can see which scopes are good and which are not. A general tip right now, information is key. Use tactical headsets, use suppressor if possible and think about how much noises you are making right now if you play. That means don't sprint if it's don't sprint if it's not necessary, but sprint if you want to get away from a dangerous situation of course. That's a big thing because a lot of players in Escape from Tarkov are just shift W sprinting brainless around and you can easily get them, especially if you have a tactical headset to increase the mistakes from your opponents and the general environment of course. And if you use a suppressor, especially right now, it's a big benefit. As I said, a lot of players are not using a tactical headset or have a very low perception rating. Of course, it's fresh wipe. Don't save on ammo. Early on, it's not a big topic because you don't have that much different kinds of ammunition. But as soon as you are, let's say, level 2 or sometimes you can find some very nice loot. I told it on my video yesterday and I will show you what I mean right now. Go on woods to the suppressor shack. That's a call out which I made. I will show you a video what I mean and you can find some very nice rounds on the ground and some very nice attachments. Use them. Use them right now and don't save on ammo. For example, if you have the opportunity between 545 by 39 PS or BT or BP, always go for the better one because right now you want to use your good stuff and you will get a big benefit out of it. New quest lines and quest rewards are in the game or changed. Especially early on, we have a new Ragman quest which lead us, leads us to reserve. We have to mark something. This is interesting and of course we will keep you updated every time about some new quests and quest lines. Speaking of quests, don't focus on a single quest. If you have some bad luck or if you need a specific item but you have the option to switch that quest or switch the map for, to do some other quests, do that. Time right now is has a pretty high value and you don't want to waste time and you don't want to die a lot because dying is a big, big kickback. Because if you die right now, it's pretty bad because you will lose a lot of time and you will lose gear, which means you lose money. So try to do things which you are good in. Try to do things which you have a certain confidence and don't focus on a single very bad thing. Try to play a little bit around it. As I said, time, money and all of that is right now very important. Right now it's your turn. Do you have any good tips for the community? Write in the comments below and I'm really interested in your first 24 hours. I hope you had a good start with Tarkov patch 12.11. And guys, you know it, we Germans want to win at least something. So your like for this video is really important. I would really appreciate it. As always, stay safe and see you in the next video.